Alright, so this is the second part of copying new data from another workbook. And in this part, we will use all column as references. So now let's start decoding by opening the BVA editor. And from here, let's insert a new module. And I will just name this module multi reference. And again, let's use an option explicit as a good practice. And then for the procedure, I will name it copy data using multiple reference. So similar with what we did on the first part, we will do it step by step and we will always use variable for each object that we will be using. So let's start by declaring a variable that will represent our workbook tool. So I will name that TWB as workbook. So this is our workbook. And we'll set that equals to this workbook. And then we will also declare a worksheet variable that will represent our multi call worksheet. So I will name that uh, multi sh. This one is a worksheet. I will just add a comment here that this is the this workbook multi call sheet. And we will set that variable using the worksheet name. So that is uh, multi call. Oops. The next step is to open the sample data workbook. But again, we need to know the path of that workbook first. So we will declare a file path variable of type string. And then we will use the application that get open file name to select a file and capture the path of that file. So after we have the file, we can now open the sample data workbook. But it's a good practice to use or declare a variable that will represent that workbook. So I will just name the variable data wb as workbook. And to add a comment, this is our sample data workbook. So I will set that variable using the workbooks.open function and then indicate the path of the uh, or the indicate the file path variable for opening the workbook. So now after we have the workbook open because that is what is going to happen once this line of code is executed. Well, actually, we can test it. So let me run this, select the file. And here you can see that it opens the sample data workbook. Next, we can also declare a worksheet variable that will represent the target worksheet for this workbook. We can just name that data sh. And this one is a worksheet. And I will also add a comment that this is the sample data workbook, all column sheet. And similar with what similar with what we did on the first worksheet variable, we can set it using the worksheet name. So data sh is equals to data wb dot sheets all column. All right. So now we can start looping through the sample data records. So let's declare a counter variable. I will just name it A and with a type of long. I forgot the as long. And now let's add a comment, loop through all the sample data records. Let me just add more spacing here. So for A is equals to 2 because the first row in our sample data starts in row number 2. And then for the end of the loop, that is the data sh, the range A1, we'll just use the current region, the rows that count. And this line of code will automatically return as the last row in this data table. So now the next step is to check if the record exists in our primary tool. So check if the records exist in the primary tool. Well, this code is almost similar to what we, to what we did in the first part. The only difference is this condition or this validation part. So let, let's declare a variable or a Boolean variable that we can use as reference to check if the record exists or not. So I will just name it record exist as boolean and by default we can set it to false 
now we can start looping to our primary tool so let me just open that workbook so here we will use another for loop and we need another counter variable i will just name it p with the same with the same type of long so now for v is equals to 2 because uh, once we have record here the first record will start in row number 2 and then for the end of the loop that will be multi sh that range a1 that current region again that count next b and then now uh, we can validate if uh, the record we are checking from the sample data workbook is existing within this tool. So we will use an if condition for that. Let's start with uh, column A. So if um, data sh range A and A that value is equals to the multi sh the range A and B that value. And we will use an end. The next is to validate if data sh the range b and a that value is equals to multi sh the range b and b that value and last column is the column c all right and then we can close this loop so the record exists if all the column from column A to column C is the same with the record we have in the primary tool. So if that condition is met, we can set our record exist variable equals to true and we can exit the for because once this condition is met, we know that the record already exists in our primary tool so we don't have to check the other record in our workbook. The next step is to copy the data if it does not exist yet. So, but before we can copy the data, we need to get the next available row first in our primary tool. So we need to declare a variable for the next row. And next row is equals to our uh, multi sh that range a1 that current region that rows that count and we will add one to get or to return to us the next available row in here and now once we have the next row we can start copying the data if only the record exist variable is equals to false so we can do it the the simple way, since we only have three columns here, I, I think we don't need to use the for loop for here. So let's assign the values now. Let's start with column A and next, oops, next row that value is equals to data sh that range A and A that value. And I can just simply copy this line for the column B and column C and just replace the column name B and column C and then once we finish copying the data we can close the sample data workbook so that is data WB that close and false for save changes and we can also have a message box saying data copied successfully and just add an information icon to our message box and for the title i will just use bba copy new data and now we can assign this procedure to our button in the primary tool so right click here assign macro and select the copy data multi rep and now let me make sure that the sample data is closed before I select it. So now let's test this code. Click select file, select the file. And here we can see that we only copied um, nine records. And here we can see that all these records are unique, meaning there is no duplicate records. 
So this is the second way of copying new data from another workbook using all columns as the references. So you can also do this if you want to filter data from another workbook and then just copy unique data to your primary tool or to your primary workbook. Alright, so that is all for this topic. Again, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed for more VBA video. That's all for today. I'll see you in the next VBA. Thank you for watching.